<laughs> so something happened today that some people are making a big deal out of. Now, I don't know if this actually amounts to anything, if it really truly means anything other than, well, yeah, an important meeting is probably happening at Nintendo HQ Japan, well, this week, today, tomorrow, whatever. You know, the time zones are a bit different over there. You know, for all I know, the meeting's taking place right now. Doug Bowser, the CEO of Nintendo of America, went on a trip, a trip that he announced briefly or earlier today on Twitter, right here. See, away we go. Didn't know where he was going. He goes on lots and lots of business trips you know, all year long. This is obviously his first big one of 2023, but he goes on lots of business trips all year long. But then you see, oh, he arrived in Japan. Now, what's interesting isn't that he's in Japan. The president of a you know, a company, a major outlet for Nintendo is in Japan going to Nintendo headquarters. No, that's not a big deal. But see, going down this list, what you'll notice as you go through his Twitter account is that he doesn't talk often about going to Nintendo. See, last time he talked about it was back in November. He was actually there uh, for a Nintendo Live event that was in Japan uh, back then, but he doesn't go to Nintendo of Japan a ton. He's probably there about six to seven times per year, but every time he goes, it's pretty much a precursor to something. Now, if you didn't know, Nintendo of America's primary job is marketing. Now, that's that's one thing they do. They also do, obviously, localization, and they do handle QA testing for pretty much all of Nintendo's games. So, a lot of people kind of misconstrue that Nintendo of America is just a marketing arm. They actually do quite a few things with game testing, obviously being one of the most important, along with localization, and yes, the marketing side. So, I find it fascinating as I scroll through his Twitter, and I see multiple times that he mentions he's in Japan. He doesn't always mention when he's leaving for it, but he usually mentions when he arrives. So I find this to be fascinating that today of all days, people seem to be making a bigger deal out of it than is probably necessary. I mean, like right here, great to be welcome back October 7th. Now, to be fair, this was actually right before the Nintendo Live event, and he did appear on the live stream. But then, again, he was back a month later, and now he's back in January. Now, we don't know what any of these meetings that he are att that he's attending are for. Of course, these are privatized meetings. But what's fascinating are some of the responses. So, first, when he left, right? When, when you land, there will be so many tweets about Switch 2 in your comments. So, when is it coming? Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator looks really good. Great one, Master of Hyrule. I really want backwards compatibility. Can you call it the Switch? So a lot of people are thinking this is about new hardware. Now, when he landed, here's what people said about this. Hey, come on and slam. Welcome to the chance. Seems like a full presentation of a new console. And suddenly a release in 2023 is no longer impossible. These responses are hyping up Doug Bowser's trip to Japan like this means something. I'll tell you what it means, okay? I'm, I'm going to tell you what this trip means. It means he's on one of a whole bunch of trips he makes to Japan to work out Nintendo's marketing plan for what's coming up. Now, we know what's coming up in Kirby next month. We know what's coming up in Tears of the Kingdom. We know what's coming up in Bayonetta. And obviously, third-party marketing that Nintendo participates in, where they put out tweets and they put out things on social media. You might go, well, if it's just a marketing meeting, why does Doug Bowser need to be in person? Couldn't he just video conference in? Well, there is a key thing here that makes it a little bit better to maybe be in person. That's one time zone differences. Like that's a really big reason that, you know what, let's just go in person so my sleep schedule is the same, so I'm thinking clearly. Because obviously, when he's got his day-to-day -day work he's got to do here in you know North America, that's not going to line up with business meetings with Japan all the time. The time zones don't intersect at convenient times often for corporate. So to have corporate meetings to do big marketing planning, you typically need to go in person. So that's to me, what this likely is, I, I think it's a big nothing burger. Now, people might point out, oh, when we get our director, oh, if they announce a new system, or oh, they started advertising Tears of the Kingdom, this meeting was about that. Probably. 
But think about that wide spectrum of stuff we said. They're clearly going to be ramping up the marketing for Tears of the Kingdom soon, right? We are highly likely having a Nintendo Direct by the end of February. Plus, there's a Pokemon event that happens every February. So, yeah, Doug Bowser is going to need to be made aware of all of that. So, that could have a big part of this. There was just a new theme park open that, yes, Nintendo of America is acutely part of with another one coming in Orlando. So, Maybe there's a business meeting about that. Look, there's a number of reasons that Doug Bowser could be there. And the fact is, we don't know. I think what's happening is people are getting overhyped about anything. They're looking for any small sign that Nintendo's about to announce something. Here's what I'll tell you. Nintendo is about to have a Nintendo Direct, most likely, in the next four or five weeks. Sure, Nintendo is highly likely to start ramping up and start advertising tears of the kingdom by the end of february yeah of course like the bowser makes these trips on the regular literally in the last four months just the last four months doug bowser has made a trip to japan three times believe it or not he goes to japan pretty damn often now i was curious if he publicly talks about going to Japan uh, like this often in such a short time span. And as I went through his timeline today, I realized that he used to not post when he went to Japan. And then when he started doing it, it was only sporadic. So I will say three times in four months is quite a lot. He usually doesn't make that many. As I said, it's about six times a year. So that's every other month. He usually makes a trip to Japan for some business meetings but he doesn't go there three times out of four. Now, maybe it happened three times out of four just because of the Nintendo Live. It was uh, postponed after 2019, came back in 2022. He made a guest appearance on it. So maybe that is why he there's that extra trip in there from October instead of his typical November and then January trips. But whatever. The point is he's made trips to Japan in January before didn't necessarily mean new hardware. He's made trips in September. He's made trips in July, in June. He, he's made trips literally all year long. So I'm just going to look at this for what it is. Doug Bowser's just doing his job. I don't know what there is to be excited about other than Doug Bowser's doing his job. Now, if you want to get excited about something, yes, we should be very, very soon getting a massive news blowout from Nintendo in the shape of a Direct. And sure, at some point in the next year or two, or God forbid three, we're going to end up having a new system announced. Obviously. Like, we have reasons to think something's coming. But I think a business meeting from Doug Bowser in Kyoto, when he literally makes trips there all year long, we're, we're starting to grasp his straws here at our desperation. But I understand it. I appreciate it. I'm not, you know, other people can think this means more than it is. Look, if there's going to be a new system, yeah, they'd have a meeting about it. If there's going to be a marketing plan for Tears of the Kingdom, yeah, they'd have a meeting about it. Of course, they'd have that same meeting happen, whether it was any other year for any other products. So it doesn't it doesn't point to anything. It just Doug Bowser's doing his job. Cool. <laughs> All right, guys. I am Nathaniel Robojans from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.